Which helmet should you get your next autograph on? Speed or not speed? That's today's topic on the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. <laughs> All right, welcome back to the Power Sports Room Video Show. I am your host, Matt Powers. Thank you again for joining me. I always appreciate it. If you can, if you like this content, please feel free to hit that like button. And if you can, please subscribe to the channel. Always appreciate putting these stuff out for you guys here. And it's free and interesting content. And it just allows it to get to as many people as possible. So a interesting question came about uh, last week with a customer was asking about speed and uh, not speed helmets and what the difference is and which ones he should collect and that is a great question and worthy of a video so first off what are the differences between a speed helmet and a not speed helmet okay so first off here is a speed helmet example see those holes right on top there that's what makes it speed here okay it's got those nice little holes a lot of players wear this style helmet this one's an authentic uh, Chase one with Patrick Mahomes signature on there. Uh, Non-speed helmet is the one you have here for Ray Lewis. See how it doesn't have the holes, okay? Everything else is the same. And these are both authentic helmets, so they're going to have the padding on the inside. Uh, but the biggest difference, obviously, is these holes on the side. Now, a lot of newer players are going to wear this style of helmet, uh, whereas the older players like you know Lewis and Montana and those kind of guys, they didn't have that style around there, so that's why you see a lot of players who uh, didn't wear that style are not getting them on the speed helmet. But you can also see both, too. Some people will get them on speed, some people won't. So the question begs, which one do you get? Well, there's a couple different answers to that, and I'll try to run through them as, as quickly as I can for you here. A lot of people come from the perspective of, hey, if the player didn't wear that style helmet, I don't want to get a signature on that style helmet, which is, hey, perfectly legitimate uh, response to it. Totally get that. The next kind of response that people give is, well, I want all my helmets to kind of be the same. You know, I don't want them all either speed or I want them, you know, not speed. And you're going to run into that problem when you start collecting newer and older players. So really, my suggestion to you is to get the style helmet that the player particularly wore. I think that really adds adds a little bit of value to it, but it just looks right. So I don't really mind mixing in the speed and the not speed into a collection. I really think that uh, it doesn't really make all that big of a difference. Uh, another thing that you really wanna consider when you're deciding between a speed and a not speed helmet is if you're gonna be getting inscriptions, okay? Let me show you an example here. So you got the Ray Lewis right here. See how it's got a bunch of inscriptions on there? There's plenty of room for the athlete to sign and to also write all those inscriptions as clearly as humanly possible. When you've got the speed helmet here, it just kind of limits the space where they can write because of those holes there. And it's actually even worse on the mini, on the mini helmets. Mini helmets, I almost never get speed. Uh, just because the area to write in is just so small to begin with and then you take away some of the area with the holes on there um, It really makes it uh, hard to write on there. Uh, they've also got kind of a different version of the um, The speed helmets coming out now those flex ones. Those are super super expensive. They're really cool They're kind of more into the style of some certain players in the way I know Mahomes kind of wears a style like that So that's another one to consider but those helmets are like five six hundred dollars. So just going with just the authentic helmets, you know, these ran anywhere from, you know, 250 to 300 bucks, depending on which team you're getting and what the available stock is. Uh, I would probably stick with those helmets. I, I think it's kind of getting ridiculous that the helmets are getting like on some st styles are getting so expensive. They're like three or four times more the value of the autograph. So uh, for me personally, I would just stick with just the straight authentic helmets and they call these the pro lines. So this would be the pro line and this would be the speed authentic. Okay. So just to go over this again, I personally prefer to go with the non speed helmets for players who didn't wear that particular style. And I will go with the speed style for the player that actually wears that type of helmet. Yeah, that may or may not change depending on if I'm getting a ton of inscriptions or what also the stock and inventory is available. 
the speed ones tend to kind of go out of stock and in and out of stock a, a lot whereas the standard pro line ones here are kind of the ones that are usually available most of the year speed ones are kind of in and out all the time so um that would be my two cents on which one to get for the speed or not speed boy try saying that like a thousand times there uh but you know just make sure when you're getting the authentic helmets that you guys are, are doing these for players that are worthy of being on these authentic helmets you know you want to get like a ray lewis patrick mahomes and all these kind of stuff you don't want to be getting you know an offensive lineman on there okay it just doesn't make sense because you're not going to be paying as much for the autograph you're putting a 50 dollars autograph on a 250 or 300 dollars helmet and that doesn't make any sense but you're getting guys like tom brady yeah get the authentic helmet spend the extra bucks on there so that way you guys are getting the full package and you aren't regretting it later on for something that you know only cost you you know an extra couple hundred bucks there so uh hopefully it helps you guys and steer you in the direction of getting a speed or a not speed helmet if you guys got any questions on those uh let me know in the comments below we can definitely help answer those for you and again if you guys, if you guys like this content please subscribe to the channel and hit that like button that way we can get this out to as many people as possible okay thanks again guys